who they are, they have the record they have, but our kids didn't let that intimidate us. We came out and played a great game and you know just focused on execution. Yeah. They didn't worry about who the opponent was. Yeah. Yeah, Adam Adam's come a long way as a quarterback. He used to be basically just an athlete back there. Now he's more of a pure quarterback and you know he can keep his run and keep his eyes downfield to hit receivers, pick up hot reads, hit the short routes when he knows a blitz is coming. You know, he's truly a complete quarterback now and we've been using that to revenge all year and he did a great job. This, uh, this is a huge defensive game. I mean, to hold them to under 20 points was awesome, especially when one of them came on a big, huge bomb, right. a broken play where we had great defensive coverage. Just if you give a quarterback eight seconds, they're going to make stuff happen, you know. And then the other one was a punt. That we, you know, we shanked the punt and set them up. So defense did a great job minimizing their big plays because they have lots of skill, lots of speed, and they've tried to live up the big plays, and we only gave them one big bomb for the most part. And yeah. if we can make a, a big play team have to go down the field on us and you know, doing, a, doing a good job. Uh, Turner's got speed we ain't seen all year at receiver, but we were able to keep him in front of us for the most part. And we got pressure on Brenner, 
but we weren't able to get him down. He did an amazing job keeping plays alive and running for first downs. And, yeah. you know, he, he's a really good athlete back there. And so he gave us fits. If we could have got, you know, a few sacks as opposed to just a few quarterback harasses, we could have got off the field a lot quicker in some of those situations. So and that's a daily, deadly combination because when he starts to scramble, then it turns into, you know, Brenner or not Turner in a one on one scramble situation. And that yeah. just becomes hectic. Adam, how, how's it feel to pull off this win tonight? Big, biggest win in Norway history as far as winning a second round game and beating Orville. Uh, like I said earlier, it feels amazing. We're, we're all excited. Uh, our team executed well, and we're just, just really happy right now. What were some of the keys out there tonight, do you think? What were some of the biggest things you guys did right that helped you get the win? Um, our linemen did a great job picking up the blitzers. Our defense, they had great coverage all night long, and we kept Brenner kind of, well, we kept him contained pretty well. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, thanks. Congratulations. Thank We're here with Dustin Greer, Norway quarterback. Dustin, how's it feel to get this victory? And uh, you know, you guys were able to match up with Orville. A lot of people uh, yeah. didn't think you'd have the speed or the athleticism. I mean, everyone, everyone thought we couldn't, but as a team, we knew we knew what we had to do to get it done. I mean, obviously, we did it. Feels great. <laughs> Can't really explain it right now. <laughs> what was the key defensively to keeping them in, in check? I mean, they, they're very dangerous, but you well, guys I mean, didn't give up that many big plays. Containing Brenner was a key, and I mean, he still got a good amount of rushing yards, but our offense picked it up when our defense was down a little. I mean, we just all came together as one unit. Played ball like we all know how to. What's this mean for Norway to, in the WCAL even to get a win like this? I mean, represent Norway is great, but WCAL representing everybody. Being in the playoffs still, only team around in this area, just feels great. You know, we okay. kind of did it for everybody in the county. Congratulations, thanks. Thank you. We're here with Brady Berger, Norway wide receiver. Brady, how's it feel to get a win like this? Not only. Is it your first second round playoff, but to beat Orville, how excited is the team right now? Oh, it feels great. I mean, two Wayne County teams going at it in the second round of playoffs is pretty rare. And Orville, we've never got to play them. And nobody, well, no Wayne County teams got to play them in a while. And it just feels great to finally have a victory against them. Uh, tell me about the touchdown catch that you had in the third quarter. Take, take us through what you did on that play. Uh, we, that was a... Uh, Bingo route change, and I went across the hash, and Wallace found me deep in the end zone. No man was really on me, and Adam could just pretty good at pinpointing his passes. No, congratulations. Thank you.